Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a compound inequality on the number line. So I already have my number line drawn here. And in this example, I'm asked to graph the compound inequality x is greater than or equal to 8 or x is less than or equal to 5. What makes this compound is the fact that it would be either an or statement or an and statement. And then to describe each one of those, if it is an or statement, then that means once I graph these two lines, the compound is going to be where either of them exist. If this would have been an and statement, then I would only be graphing where both exist. And in this example, we do have an or statement, so it's going to be either line. So let's start with the one on the left. It says x is greater than or equal to 8. I read the sign greater than or equal to because I think hearing that helps me know which direction to draw the line and where to start. But it's also helpful whenever the variable is on the left hand side of that sign such as here where the x is on the left. The sign itself is actually pointing in the correct direction. It looks as though it's pointing to the right and greater than would be to the right. So I'm going to go out here to 8 and I would draw a circle. But since it says equal to is allowed, I'm going to make this a solid circle. And then greater than or equal to is going to be to the right. So going forever in the right hand direction bigger than 8. And again, since the variable is on the left, it's almost as though that sign is pointing us in the right direction. It's pointing to the right. Now I'm going to switch to the second part of this compound inequality and this says x is less than or equal to 5. So now I have this expression less than or equal to. I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to go to 5, put my circle. I know that's a point of interest. Since it has the line underneath it that allows it to be equal to, I'm going to close in that circle. And then less than 5 is going to be everything to the left. So I'm going to draw my arrow going to the left. And again, we notice that since the x is on the left hand side, the sign itself is sort of pointing in the right direction. It seems to be pointing to the left and we drew our arrow to the left, less than or equal to 5. Now that I've drawn each one individually, I want to think about the compound, the or part here. I've drawn another line and thinking about or means that it could be either of these two. It could either be points that are to the left of 5 including 5 or points to the right of 8 including 8. So we said for or it could be either of these two lines. So I'm just going to graph both of them. It could be a dot over here somewhere or it could be any of the values over here would satisfy this expression. Just to speak quickly about the AND part again, had this been an AND statement, it would have been where they overlapped. And in this example, since we have x greater than or equal to 8, if it had been AND x less than or equal to 5, there would have been nothing to graph because these two lines do not overlap. But if you had an AND example, there probably would be an overlap area, and that would be your final solution 